Hey dudes, I'm going to butt in quickly here at the very start of my video, so I may as well introduce it. Hey, welcome to the show. Um, but while I was editing this video, I literally discovered the one killer ability the VideoPad um, Android editor that I'm about to talk about has over like literally every other Android editor that's out there. And that's multi-layer video. I didn't realize this thing was capable of it, but yeah, dudes, I want to bring it up right now. It's as simple as double clicking on the video layer and then just sizing it up. Um, so yeah, if you came here trying to find the best video editor, bam, like right there. If you've got other suggestions, I'd love to hear them, but I can't, out of all my research, I couldn't find another one that could do that. Anyway guys, sorry for butting in. Um, on with the show, there's a few other reasons why you'd want to check out VideoPad and on the website I did up an article with lots of other suggestions for video editors on Android. So um, cheers, thank you. So for Christmas, I got an Android tablet, the JXD 7800B GamePad 3. Rolls right off the tongue, but I mainly got it so I could play emulated games. But being an Android tablet, I figured there'd be quite a bit of functionality that was also built into it. Um, I suppose mainly for me, hopefully video editing, because that's something that I do every day. And if I could do it on the train while I'm being transported or just when I've got some downtime, that would be you know, a seriously bump in, a serious bump in my own productivity. Um, so this video is really just to test out the editing capabilities of this particular device and some of the different software that I've been planning to use, mostly the NCH VideoPad editor. So to get the best possible experience, this is my main camera that I use for my web series, the um, Next VG20. I've also enlisted the help of a second camera. This is the JVC, it's just an SD handy cam, but I was really curious how the, um, the Android emulator would handle the different file formats, the different bit rates, and just see if this type of footage would be a lot more practical to shoot on an Android tablet as opposed to full HD DSLR quality footage. So, like I said, I'll be using the NCH VideoPad application for the bulk of this video. Um, th there's a written review on the website, theleftoverculturereview.com, that actually explores a few of the different applications available for Android. Um, not all of them I've had the chance to explore fully, just due to incompatibility, but um, the NCH at the moment just feels like the most complete package at the best price, which is free. And um, I seriously recommend, if you want to if you want to edit on your tablet then check it out um, and get the best possible tablet you can but I suppose at the very top my recommendation is if you want to buy a tablet to edit video on definitely go for the um, Apple Apple products at the moment because the support there is just so much better for video editing but hopefully the Android device handles this footage a little bit better than the next VG20 and um, yeah, let's get on with it. Hey dudes, so this is the NCH VideoPad um, Android Editor running on my JXD 7800B. Um, I've actually recorded footage already just to test out how different um, video formats will work, how different cameras would work all in the same timeline. And honestly, I've been a little bit impressed. This is footage taken off my main video camera, the Sony Next VG20 in full HD. I think it does about 18 megabits per second video so it doesn't work great. I'll be totally honest if I was going to use footage like this I'd literally only use it to introduce a video segment I wouldn't be using it for the whole video because this tablet just is too slow um, undoing any mistakes actually has a loading bar to undo changes so um, I wouldn't say it was practical but you know it still plays um, it's a bit jumpier. Actually, you know, you can stop it. Put the put your trims in, but um, yeah, I just I wouldn't consider it fast enough to be practical. On the other hand, when you're working with things like this camera, which I haven't synced up the audio for it yet, but um. So this camera footage has been 
taken off the camera that I'm using now to record. It's the uh, JVC. It's just an SD handy cam. But um, as you can see, like the picture has been blown up to fill the full frame of the video. So that's already a pretty cool feature. But um, it does play a lot easier. And I think this would be a much better balance between having the quality and still being able to edit it from just an Android um, tablet. So um, I think that would be yeah, a better trade-off altogether. Um, at the very other end of the spectrum, if I can get there, you've got things like the built-in um, camera on the GamePad 3, which... Um, so obviously the picture quality is probably as bad as it's going to get, but um, it does make it a lot easier to, you know, zoom in cut between the takes. Um, I'm not sure when I'd use footage like this or if there's a if there's a way you could use footage like this unless you're using yourself as like a little box in the corner or something to add commentary to something but um yeah it's a uh, three different file formats. I definitely don't recommend it for HD editing which is a similar position laptops were in just a couple of years ago but um Obviously, your biggest limitation in terms of Android at the moment is going to be one track of video. And this one has a video and audio track linked together and then one audio track at the bottom. And then you can add in like a picture-in-picture -picture effect with a video overlay. But it doesn't matter if you're adding in images or video. It all just appears as a little box in the middle center of your um, shot. And the toll to... To playback is yeah. The toll to playback is just too too great. It doesn't you can't edit it at that point. It's too choppy. So um, look, it's there. I'd love to see it actually being fleshed out in the future. But at the moment, for a free app, the NCH Video Pad um, has you know all the functions you'd need to put together a really short video. Hopefully with uh, with a lower grade camera just to save your sanity a little bit. In terms of paid options, um, you pay to unlock all the, digi all the digital effects, all the effects, you can unlock all the transitions, all the different output formats, um, unlimited sharing and then removing ads. So, you know, for $10, that's a really, it is a really cheap video editor because I know the the Apple applications can cost more, sometimes less, usually more. But um, the main functionality here for free is really outstanding across both platforms for the price. Um, import video. It only imports MP4, but I realize that with my cameras, if I just change the extension, whether it's MTS or um, I can't remember what JVC use, something else. MV something maybe, but um, just change it to MP4, imports fine. Um, music's all imported fine and obviously the footage that I took with the Android camera, it all just imports fine. Um, the last feature over here is a narration option. So whether you're over a picture or gameplay footage or I might move over here to the this footage here, but hit record. And I can chat about what's happening on the screen, obviously, whether it's, you know, gameplay footage or it's an event that I'm trying to talk about or just even adding commentary to my own videos. I could see this being a great way to do it on the move. I, if I was sitting at a computer, I'd probably rather be using that. But, um, you know, hit stop. Stop. And the audio will be added. Um, in the set, in the layer of audio, so that cuts out the possibility for adding an extra music layer underneath that. But um, it's a pretty, I could see it being a really handy feature for some certain people. In terms of actually editing on the JXD, it's not the most powerful Android system. This this tablet cost me one hundred and fifty dollars, which is pretty just above low range, I guess, nearly into the mid range. 
but I did have the possibility to map some certain functions to the physical buttons over here. So I can hit play, I can slice the footage there, I can select footage, I'll have to use my finger to select footage but then I can just delete it with the A button and then I think I said D to undo which brings up options to undo or redo. So, you know, as, a, as an Android emulator, this, I think, is about as good as you're going to get. There's been um, some definitely more polished looking options for Android, but in terms of compatibility, this one, the video pad, seems to be compatible with most um, Android devices. The functions here are everything you'd need to import, any length of video you need, edit it, and then export it to HD without watermarks, and again at any length. This undo operation is taking forever. So um if you don't make mistakes you won't have to use undo. I guess lastly we'll you know click say video MP4 full HD TV format for PAL but you have you know options to export it at lower resolutions choose different encoder options here H.264 or um, MPEG and then share it to YouTube or Facebook. As far as I know, there's something in the paid options about more unlimited uploading to Facebook and YouTube, so I'm not exactly sure what the limitations there are. But um, obviously, like with most Android applications, everything's automatically saved. Hit back and, you know, you can open it up again really quickly. Um, obviously if you reset the device the application itself will need to start up again but um, yeah it's all auto saved and yeah thanks for watching.